Nick Hamilton here on the campus of USC where we witnessed a brand new addition to the USC family. AD Mike Bone has now officially been named by Dr. Carol Folt as the new athletic director. We had a chance to speak with not only Dr. Carol Folt, but also Mike Bone as far as what his plans are for the future. Where does he see the football program and most importantly, Clay Helton and the rest of the athletic department? Make sure you stay tuned and follow me on all things social media at Nick Hamilton LA. Here we go. Thank you all for being here this morning. I'm here today, of course, to announce USC's new Director of Athletics, Mike Bone. Well, I tell you, walking onto campus today and getting a sense of uh, what makes USC special, you feel it the minute you walk on campus. And uh, I uh, want you to know with great humility, and honor that uh, I've been selected to lead the preeminent college athletic program in the country. And uh, it, it's just so exciting to be here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Dr. Fult, thank you for this opportunity. And uh, thank you for your leadership at USC. What you've been able to do in a very short amount of time is impressive. It inspires me. I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of a team that recognizes that we want to win. And when you have a president that understands and appreciates intercollegiate athletics, you want to be a part of that. And uh, that's Dr. Fult. And so uh, incredible impact that she's had already, and I salute that. And uh, well, you had three parts to that. So obviously, uh, we all understand the, the importance of football. It's, it's, it's very similar to every institution that, that I've been a part of, from the Air Force Academy. Air Force football is king there. And I recognize, I don't want to use that word necessarily here, because guess what? We expect all of our programs to compete. And that's one of the attractions of coming and working with Dr. Fult and her vision is for us to be competitive across the board. But we recognize the importance of football and what we're doing. It'd be premature to be talking about coaches or any situation when I just arrived. I'm in the process of learning and trying to listen. But uh, again, I have a good sense of, of uh, really quickly being able to connect and, and, and find out how we're doing and where we're going and I want to impact recruiting. And I recognize the importance. The name of Southern California in our institution's name says a lot. And Southern California is critical for us to ensure that we are viable in recruiting, we're viable in, in outreach, we're viable in attendance of, at our games and intensity of interest that supports our program. And the bullseye in Southern California is LA. And so we're going to work really hard to ensure that that's the case. And so we're going to be fundamentally strong associated with that Southern California footprint. And then as we need to recruit for all of our sports, other aspects. But we want to do a great job in Southern California knowing the bullseye is in. How important was it to be a part of a team? He spoke about being a part of a team. And you also spoke about being part of a team. How important was that when you went through the selection process? finding that right particular piece to add to the puzzle of being a part of a successful team. Yeah, you know, you're exactly right. I'm trying to run a university. I just hired a new provost. I'm bringing in new people. But if we're working separately, we're going nowhere. So I love that about athletics anyway. It's about a team, but running a university is too. So that was important for me that I thought he would be someone that could work with our faculty, our staff, and our coach, you know, everybody as part of the whole mission. Thank you. Spearheading that initiative. And it's caught on in a lot of different parts of the country to include Ohio. And uh, I'm an advocate for student athletes. I thought one of the best things the NCAA did recently was add the cost of attendance uh, disbursement to student athletes to help them financially through their, their challenges. I believe this is the next phase of that. I don't believe that uh, you've seen a final product yet, but I have a lot of confidence in my colleagues at the NCAA and uh, the Pac-12 Conference at USC to be able to advance that. Again, if we can do things to support student athletes and set them up for success and help them build their brand and go on and take their USC experience and uh, become the phenomenal leaders that we're accustomed to our alumni from USC to do, I think that's a wonderful Air Force program as far as how big the football program was there at Air Force and then you moving forward. 
being that the football program is big here at USC, what is a level, a reasonable level of expectation as far as moving forward, as far as success goes? Well, I think we were talking like we were talking about the Air Force when we were in 1985. We in my uh, second year there, we were number five in the country and knocked off Texas in the Blue Bonnet Bowl and. Uh, uh, Dee Dallas, who uh, is no longer with us, unfortunately, was a Heisman Trophy finalist. I think it's about competing and playing at the highest level. No question. All right, so there you have it from the campus of USC, where Mike Bone's message is fight on to victory in every level and every capacity of athletics, from the student athlete all the way to the field and off the field and off the court as well. Make sure you follow me on all things social media at Nick Hamilton LA. Another piece of the puzzle has been added to USC. Let's see what's next.